the vehicle was going 90 miles an hour at the point of impact. This is just this is just absolutely an irresponsible act. Investigators call it a deadly and violent crash. And now three months later, the DA just filed charges against two men that investigators say were racing before smashing into a school van. Inside that school van were the driver and four students, including 15 year old Samantha Kalkbrenner, who died at the scene. Erica Stanish is live now with more from Allegheny County Police and the district attorney about today's developments. Erica. Yeah, investigators say based on video evidence and witnesses on the scene, it appears the two men involved were racing, hitting speeds up to 100 miles an hour here on Richland Avenue before one of them violently crashed into that school van. And tonight the DA is calling their actions senseless and reckless. When the impact took place, uh, the Jetta immediately exploded. Going two and a half times over the speed limit, Allegheny County Police say William Soliday and Andrew Voigt hit speeds up to 107 miles per hour and were allegedly racing down Richland Avenue when Soliday crashed into a Sarah Catholic school van. There are no skid marks. There's no, at least for at least 600 feet before impact, there's no visual barriers that would uh, uh, explain this to us, not, not satisfactorily. Nearly three months after the crash, investigators say they worked thoroughly, considering speed, distance, and time calculations to build their case, including video evidence from the school van and witnesses. We still have a child that's dead, and, and one child was ejected and thrown onto the roof of the burning car. I mean, it's just horrific. Soliday is now behind bars facing charges including criminal homicide and five counts of recklessly endangering another person. Voigt faces a felony count of causing an accident involving death and seven counts of recklessly endangering another person. The DA says they went back and forth on determining if he too should also face homicide charges, saying he sped from the scene after the crash. Voigt literally came through that intersection and he sees what happened and what damage has been cut, but this guy just kept on going. That's cold. That's really cold. Good luck with that with a jury. Tell them. Both were arrested Wednesday and remain in the Allegheny County Jail. Now, according to court documents, both men were are employed rather at the same place and were allegedly on their way to work just a quarter of a mile from the scene of the accident. And police say after interviewing Voight, he allegedly denied speeding or knowing Soliday. Now, since that accident, I can tell you many changes have been made here on Richland Avenue, including that speed radar behind me and soon to be installed traffic lights. Now, coming up, I've spoken with Kalkbrenner's family, what they had to say and what the community is doing now to support them at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Dravosburg, Erica Stanish, KDKA 